LibreOffice has a place online for people to share templates. It's called templates.libreoffice.org slash template-center. This seems like a great idea. There are thousands of us out there who use LibreOffice. What better way is to share their best ideas as templates for others? I was thinking there must be hundreds of great ideas out there at the online template site for me to choose from. When I looked, there was not as many as I was expecting to see. Now I'm thinking, people must not know how easy it is to upload a template. I'll create a video showing how easy it is to upload a template and that will inspire others to show off their great ideas and uses for LibreOffice as well. So I create a simple resume template to upload to the LibreOffice templates site. I get my template logon ID, log in, and it is shortly after that that I realize why there are not many templates on the LibreOffice template web page. The upload process is a little tricky. For the rest of this video, I'm going to go through the process I went through to put my simple resume template out on the website. So I log in and go over to submit your template. Well, the first thing I see is add a software project. My first reaction is, is this right? I just want to upload a template. I don't want to add a project. This is right. Think of the project as a folder for our template. If we decide we want to revise our template, we can add another version in this project and we can turn off the original version or leave them both active. Even if we only have one template and the project is never updated, that's fine too. For this project, I'm required to select a category, which makes sense, and give a brief project summary, and there's a section for a more detailed description. Maybe some special features or details about how to use my template. Contact address. For some reason, I had trouble with this field. I think they should default in my login email here so I can see what format they're looking for. And I can change it if I don't want to use that email address. That red dot shows that this is a required field. So I had to keep trying things if I wanted to continue. I finally got my website URL to work. The rest of the fields are not required, but I can add them if I like. So I put in a logo and a screenshot and click save. It didn't work. So I needed to retype in that screen again. This time it liked it. If I go to the templates main page and sort by newest, I'm still logged in. We see it looks like our new template is out there, but it's not. At this point, I realized that nowhere on that first screen did it ask for me to upload my template, only the picture of the template. We only built the project to hold our template. No template is out there yet. I know that I have to add a release now, so I click on the releases here on the left side of the screen. I see a note in small print, no releases found. Use the add menu to add a release. Under add new, I see software releases. Again, I'm thinking this is just a template, not a software release, but that must mean the same thing. I'm going to think of this as saying add new template. Okay, I think we're here. We can fill out these two required fields, version 1.0 and release summary. I don't know exactly what they want here, but I can put the same summary that I used for the project. Some more fields are optional. I can skip them. License. This is a required field. I don't know the difference between any of these, but it says, please read carefully. It can't be changed. Right now, I'm thinking this is a lot of work just to add a simple template. Maybe I should just quit here, but I press on. How should I pick one? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo? I'll take the top one. Maybe it's on top because it's the most used. Compatibility. I did this template on version 3.5, so I'll choose that one. This is also asking me if the source code is inside. What's that? I don't have any macros. So I guess I'll just say no. Hey, looks like we're done. Ah, uh, wait a minute. We still haven't uploaded the one file that we came here to upload. And we see the small print message. 
there are no available software files in the releases yet. But I do see my GPL license, whatever that is. And what is this state unreleased? I now see add new downloadable file. Yes, now we can finally upload our template. What is this platform all about? The default is all platforms. It's a required field, so let's stick with the default. I've uploaded my file, clicked on accept the legal disclaimer, and clicked OK. We have it out there. We now have our template uploaded to the LibreOffice template website. I open up another browser to see if I can see it in an account that's not logged in. I don't see it. Going back to my original browser, I see, remember to publish your release once all files have been added by going back to the release page. The state shows is unreleased. Maybe I need to change the state to make it viewable to somebody who's not logged in. So I click the change state button. How do I change the state? I only have the option, no change. Reading at the top, I see that another way to control the visibility of an item is with its publishing date. So I change that. I click save. It takes me back to the other screen. I come back in and now I can change the state. I choose release final release and click save. Going into the sharing tab, maybe I need to share this file before others can see it. I will allow others to add to my template project. Maybe they'll see a typo or something along those lines or have an improvement they want to add. I'll allow that. And I want to allow people to view it. Finally, I get to the submit for approval. I click save. Going out to the LibreOffice templates page, I'm sorting on newest and there I can see my simple resume template. It finally made it out there. And that is the process I went through to get this simple resume template out to the LibreOffice templates page. And I already have one like. Thank <laughs> you.